Insights gained through fundamental research may lead to applications that benefit society. In turn, societal challenges, such as sustainable energy, are a great inspiration for science. FOM encourages researchers to actively pursue these societal research questions with special funds, prizes and training. So what we're doing here in this laboratory is a forensic research project in which we look at blood droplets. And in order to look at blood droplets we have to have our own blood. And so everybody uses his or her own blood to be able to do the experiments. Uh, the goal of the research is on the crime scene, uh, the police typically finds uh, a lot of blood traces if there's, for instance, been a murder. Um, and so uh, the blood traces have to lead back to the exact uh, location where the crime was committed. And the problem is that the, uh, uh, the current methods that the police uses uh, to, uh, to, to trace back the trajectory of the blood droplets are not very accurate. I do research on uh, amyloids and amyloids are kind of aggregated uh, proteins that are related to different diseases, for example Alzheimer's disease. On the other side they are interesting from um, the food sciences because um, we can also make these same aggregates from food proteins, for example food proteins from milk or from eggs and um, then they are interesting to use in food products, for example in food structuring or uh, to get better stability in food and that's very important so therefore there's also interest from this side. This is a, uh, a pixel detector, hybrid pixel detector. It is uh, it's, uh, made, made by a spin-off company from NICAF, uh, Amsterdam Scientific Instruments. And it contains a, a, a detector here, the, the shiny part you see, and behind it are four uh, Timepix chips. Yeah, the, the chips are visible here. So there are four of these chips that are made in, in collaboration with CERN, the Accelerator Institute, and uh, Geneva. And uh, four of these, these chips are behind this sensor that you see over there. And there was a group of people said, well, they're very nice to be used in, uh, in high energy physics, but we see other opportunities in society, for instance, X-ray detection. And the nice thing is to see that first it started off in a direction more towards society, and that still continues. But there's also uh, a group of, uh, of people that take it more back to high energy physics.